What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We have not given up on the modern cube yet. Team Jbro being in the chat has definitely encouraged us to keep at it. Just keep those, keep those modern cube drafts. Uh, keep them rolling. Figure out things. What are you losing to? Why are you losing to those things? What's happening? Hard to say. Well, we're going to try to figure it out. So I'm like selling these cards on on the sick deals page on Facebook, and they're like misty rainforest and scalding tarns and stuff. And people keep messaging me and they're like, "Hey, can you do this price?" And I'm just like, "It'll be like two hundred dollar cards, right?" And they're doing it for like they want twenty bucks off of the price that I listed, and the price I'm listing is already ten percent lower than the TCG player low. Like that's the whole point of sick deals is that like all the prices listed are ten percent below market value, like. 10% below eBay, 10% below um, uh, TCG player low. So, like, I'm like, okay, so instead you want 30% off. Or I guess it would be 20 because it's 20. 20 off 200, which is 10. So, yeah, it's just funny. I'm just like, but you're, like, they're like, can you give me a deal? And I'm like, but you're literally getting a deal. That's the entire point of this group. Okay, I'm going to hit return. Okay, we didn't do that. So it's just, it's so funny that I'm like, like you, you can't, like you can't find this cheaper. That's the whole point of the card. <sighs> Dragon Skull Summit seems good if we're playing five color buck buck, which was the name that J bro suggested. Um, I've been preferring to send them in sets of four. Like, it's really hard. Like, I don't want to mail, like, four separate packages for a set of Misties. I just feel like someone will, will, will be able to grab one. The set, you know? Like, I don't know. Haj Gulashi, what's going on, my dude? You like Treasure Map over Dragon Skull Summit? I think the mana fixing is just way more important. But, I mean, you have 20 trophies, so... Let's see if Dragon Skull Summit comes back. Well, Bloodstained Mire seems like, like a good choice here. This also gets all the tri lands and the shock lands, so I'm okay with it for now. Nothing in this pack is actually super compelling. I do like Heroes Downfall, but map is fixing, but what are you gonna do? Guys, if you wanna support the channel and you enjoy playing Magic Online or getting testing in for Pioneer, Historic, Modern, Standard, whatever, Definitely check out manatraders.com. They have an awesome subscription service. Let's you rent cards every month. And uh, you can get 20% off the first three months with any of any subscription with the link and promo code down below. It's a great way to support the channel. They are sponsors of the stream. They've been great to me. I personally use their service when I'm looking for cards. So, uh, I don't know. Do yourself a favor. Check out manatraders.com. It's a good deal. Creeping Tarpet, I, I love. Liliana. And Teferi. I feel like it's Tarpid here. I love that the code is Rad Train. Yeah, I asked them to change it. Frank, why don't you use one of those avatars that increases your starting life total? <laughs> it's a good idea. I don't know why I didn't think about it. Um... I don't. Uh, I don't think Urza is a card we want in a in a, in a five color buck buck deck. But um, I like Woodland Cemetery too. I'm just trying to take all the fixing lands that are good. I think I think creature lands are good. Bloodstain Mire uh, fetch lands are good. I I think the check lands are also very very good. Like I don't want triple black, triple triple green, or double black here. Path is fine. But we may be four color. 
Oh, Verdant Catacombs. Getting two of, of two of the fetch lands this early seems pretty good. Frank just said five color buck buck deck. This is amazing. What really? Is it really? Um It's not land, right? It's play, not it's cast, not play, right? Yeah, okay, so we can't begin that. Verdant catacombs. Yeah. I like Ashiok. I think Ashiok's a good reward for uh for playing all the colors. I'm trying to avoid double colored cards. Plow under Shield Ridge. Shield Ridge's probably fine because we have three black sources already. I'll just take Rootbound Crag. Magmatic Sinkhole also pretty decent. Oh, Cyclonic Rift seems great. Also, to overload it, it only costs one blue, which is pretty abnormal. I also love this Soren. And Bloodbraid Elf. And some sort of Avengers team up. <laughs> it's either Cyclonic Bloodbraid or Soren. This is like one of my favorite Sorens, to be to be to be real with you people. To, re to, to be real with you folks at home. I'll take the Soren. Oh, Blood Crypt is perfect. We can get it with Mire. Yeah, let's do that. Plus, it's a black source for these guys. Felidar Guardian seems good, because if we manage to get a Sahili... Yeah, I'll take Felidar. I, I actually don't hate Aurelia here. Could also be Liliana. We're, we're pretty heavy black. Yeah. It's just not exciting. Could just be Staring Wildwood. I don't think it's Staring Wildwood. I kind of like Aurelia here. I'll just take Aurelia. She's just a fine threat. Um, I don't love Kite Sail Freebooter. Actually, Cast Out's probably decent. Do like Thraben Inspector? Hmm. Oh, Inquisition of Kozilek seems fine here. Actually, Gifted Aetherborn does too, based on our current mana. Hmm. Oh, Lurus could be interesting with Treasure Map and Gifted Aetherborn and Ashiok. No, not Ashiok, but either way, I'm taking the Lurus. I think it's pretty good. Anguished Unmaking. And you're probably going over here, little bud. Uh, really? You don't like 4 or 5 Flying Attacker that pumps some other creatures? That's interesting. Just feels like a solid win condition. Maybe I'm crazy. Um, Scalding Tarn gets Blood Crypt. Uh, there is no stip. Nickel Bolus. That seems like a payoff. Is the same artist? No. Maybe. No. I don't think so. I mean, Karn is probably pretty good, right? It's probably better than Nicol Bolas. Nicol Bolas has more likelihood of tabling. I think it's either Karn or Vista here, but I think I'd rather just have big fat wing condition. Uh, Ravenous Chupacomber, pretty good. So is Oblivion Ring. Golos is probably the card we want here. I, I can't actually imagine taking a card other than Golos in this pack now that I've actually seen Golos in the pack. You may be right. I may be crazy. But it just may be a lunatic you're looking for. I'm a Primeval Titan. Let's take a Primeval Titan. I mean, for playing five colors, right? Oh, Chromatic Lantern. Is there a better card for the five color deck than the Chromatic Lantern? I don't think so. Hopefully Murderous Cut or Disfigure come back. Huh. Interesting. You're in trading jobs with your partner, you're Mike Tyson. You cover and then get close in one shot. Okay, well, that's an interesting analogy. Could be Batterskull and hope for like a Stoneforge. 
I don't think it's Great Hinge, Prime Speaker. Wall of Omens is actually probably fine. It's just a card that we can put down and put some defenses up and, and dig deeper. Actually, I kind of like Wall of Omens. And, oh, Sahili Rai? Okay, so now we have a combo. Now we have an infinite combo. Sun Petal Grove with Primeval Titan and now a couple more white cards. That seems perfect. Lucka, Breath Decay, Bread, Dread War are all fine. I think the white mana is a little more relevant. Baneslayer, probably fine. Where are my triomes at? Hey, but it just might be a lunatic y'all looking for. You like Dreadbore over the land? We don't have any white fixing whatsoever right now. It's a little bit. I'm a little bit sus on that. Eh, Kalita seems better than Aurelia. Could be Tide Hollow's color too. What are the odds of it's like it's hard to cast on turn two? I guess it's probably not if we get a couple of. <laughs> I think Mike Tyson wants a Bane Slayer more than a Dread Boar. I don't know. This seems like a punch. Uh, none of these. Oblivion Ring seems fine. Actual playable. Deck and Stone seems fine. Oh, wow, Murder's Cut and Disfigure come back. Jeez, I would take the Quarantine Field, but jeez, Double White is a little rough. Yeah, I'll take Murder's Cut. Alright, so we got one, two, three, four, five, seven lands. We definitely want some, like, I think, like, two or three tri lands, and maybe, like, one or two more fetches would be great. Oh, Bosh. Hmm. 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 Misty Rainforest is a thing. Doesn't get us anything yet. But I think we still want it. <laughs> you like this ASMR? I think it's still misty because it gives us a third try, a third fetch land. So whenever those try lands show up, you know. Hmm. Marshall coup and damnation seem interesting. So I'm going to explain to you guys what happened. I had this at a certain size. And apparently, Magic has increased that size. So, for probably the last two or so drafts, I actually don't know what the last card was, unfortunately. Hmm. I feel like it's a, I feel like it's a sweeper. I feel like it's like a damnation. I'm actually shocked that we haven't seen a single try land as far as I remember. Sword. A Johnny Vengeance seems great. <sighs> Another fetch land. Is what a thing. What are you saying? Because I sized this so it's exact so that all 15 cards show up in one row. So it's really discouraging that, like, I think I've missed cards now. <laughs> Zealous Conscripts is great. Arid Mace is good. I guess it's possible we did see a trial in the first. Um, usually they're in rarity order. 
Actually, for some reason, they're not here. I don't know what this order is. Starting with cultivate. Oh, it's probably promos. And then rares. Then uncommons. So I don't think a trot lane would ever be last. Just think Arab Mesa. Yeah, so mythic, 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 mythic. Rare, 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 rare. Uncommon, uncommon. So. We already have 23 cards. We only need three playables in the last few packs. Garrick Apex Predator seems pretty sweet. No, this changes how many you see, but I also had this up. Like, I leave this up, and then I then I sort for 15. It never adjusts this or the card size to do that. See what I mean? Like, I can close this and open it all day, but it's not changing the card size is what I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm taking Garrick here. Celestial Colonnade. Niv-Mizzet Reborn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think we just take the Niv-Mizzet Reborn here. That's pretty wild. That's weird. Not a single Tri-Land. That's amazing. And Xenagos is probably fine. Still playing Swagger. E2 Extinction, actually. Hmm. That's an interesting pick. Uh, I really don't want to play a triple red Kiki Jiki. <sighs> Removal spell or Xenagos? It might just be Xenagos. I'm going to take Xenagos. Eh, Progenitor Mimic's probably fine. Mm, Banishing Light. Carnage Tyrant and Mask Worm are interesting. Carnage Tyrant's pretty decent. I think it's just Banishing Light here. The only thing I don't like about Damnation is they get their guy back with Tide Hollow Skuller. I th eh. my, my biggest, like, I f this sucks because we actually just have basics to get with, with our fetches mostly. Eh, Raging Ravine, I guess, is fine. We also have Shriek Maw. I was having a shitty day. Two things cheered me up. You streaming and reading some of the shit idiots post in the comments on your face. You're currently reading with that guy. Doesn't know how... Oh my god, that's that argument was so ridiculous, dude. And then he kept being like, clearly you're not getting it. And I'm like, you're right, I'm not. Because I don't think you understand how percentages work. But that's life, so... What can you do? Eh, Doom Whisper. Uh, I like Shieldbreaker because it does kill an artifact, which we might need. Dragonlord of Tarko was actually a card I considered. Don't care about Rebel Arc. Don't care about Bloodgast. Not sure I care about Lurus. I can literally, like, maybe go Waller these three, I guess. I'm disappointed. I'm a little disappointed with the lands we got there. Realistically, I just can't have imagine not having social media. It's how I connect with most of my friends. It's how we make plans. It's how I, you know, have conversations. Jay, bro, have a good night, buddy. I appreciate you, my dude. All right, let's see. Kind of stuck right next to the Sure, 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 sure. sure. I mean, I kind of like a Tarka because it's another card we can hit off of. And it's a, this is double white, so I don't necessarily care about that. I'd rather have Doom Whisper, to be honest. <sighs> the problem is you can have a ramp, right? So we have, like, Treasure Map, Chromatic Lantern, and that's pretty much it. I guess Mimic also does the same thing, but it can copy, like, Primeval Titan or, like, any of their creatures, right? Atarka does seem good. Seven mana is a lot, though, when we already have two seven mana creatures. I mean, and our only ramp is, like, Chromatic Lantern. So, I'm a little reluctant. Like, this is, this is pretty silly. We get seven lands. Black is easily our most represented color. Alright, so nine white, nothing double white. So 
So one, two. <laughs> Yikes. It's pretty bad. Three, four, five. Blue, we only have four blue sources. Literally not a single dual land to search for. One, two, three, four. It's really bad. Black, we have one, two, three, four. Actually, one, two, we have Blood Crypt, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can go to six. I, I could see us wanting 18 lands for sure. Green, we have one, two, three, four, one, four, five, six, sure. Red, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Don't actually need this really. Eh. Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, all right, we'll just do 41. All right, guys. Okay. This getting literally blood crypt, black or red is pretty rough, but I mean, our hand is not terrible otherwise. Oh, now we can't play. We're supposed to play this first. I'm God dang it. It's really tilting because I'm used to having like a bunch of a bunch of um, a bunch of shock lands. Even the tri lands would be. Yeah, this is wild. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't hold us back too much. Like, they're, we're still have a land for next turn. They don't have any pressure, so. Sure. Okay. What does this get? Mountain? Seems good. Okay. Seems good. So let's get a plains, let's get a mountain. seven cards in hand. It's pretty good. Sure. Luris can get back wall, which is kind of cool. Hmm. I mean, I personally think we're just playing Soren here and killing Night Vale Spectre, putting this guy to three, but then it dies to Quagging Cat. One, two, three, four, five, six. I guess we can just put him to one, two, three, four, five. We can just plus.
And if they want to like attack all at Soren, that's totally fine. This Misty Reinforced gets a forest. Guys, we found one of the triomes. Soren and face. Sure. Tide Hollow Sculler, which you can actually cast. That's pretty wild. Yep, that's pretty good. Okay. I like that. So we have black, black, black. Yeah, okay. We can do everything here. I am dead inside. So we're going to go black, white, this, Luris. Okay, well, it's not too bad. Plus, like, next turn we can kill the Knife Hell Spectre or the Tide Hollow Skullar and then blink Soren. The other night, my wife and I were sharing a bottle of wine. After stumbling over my words for just a few minutes, she said to me, Boy, that was a real kettle corn moment. Oh my god, that's hilarious. That's the most amazing thing I've ever heard, and I'm also sharing that with Michael. That's... I, that's, that's incredible. Can they cast anything? Joe Royale. Which they do. Oh my god, that's amazing. Richard F., thank you for sharing that with me, buddy. Good lord. Hmm. So what can we do here? One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can uh, kill this thing. Kill this. Blink Soren. Kill this. And then I think it's just treasure map here, actually. I don't think any of the creatures on board I really care about. They still have six cards in hand, which is kind of discouraging. Big fan of your content. Thanks for doing what you do. Bring you. Thank you so much for saying so, man. I really appreciate it. And I can definitely tell by that kettle corn moment comment because that is friggin' amazing. Oh man. Uh yeah. All right. What are you gonna do? Sometimes they flip a Nissa. I was like, maybe you don't have a forest. They did. And then they played it. Okay, that's that's okay. What are we doing here? Ral. Rally McSally. 
Then start a creature equals the number of sure you can just kill a creature. That's fine. The number is three. And you're killing Lariso. Okay. That's my boy Lariso. Lantern bottom. Um green. This actually seems decent to be to be honest. Like keeping damnation, like I don't care about what we have on board. One, two, three, four, five. We're one mana shy of being able to like one, two, three, four. Activate one, two, three, four. Like we can't go. We can go damnation. Kill both planeswalkers, right? Well, yeah, but she's gonna die to the damnation. So, oh god, oh god, I almost, I almost killed Soren himself. One, two, three, four. Then we still have a white left over. All right, and we get to treasure map next turn and make a bunch of bunch of treasures I guess that's how that works okay so they didn't actually attack Soren which is pretty sweet I'll keep that at worst it cycles right so I kind of want to just keep Raging Green back because they have two creature lands. They also have four cards. Like, I have to assume some of them, some number of these cards are removal. Or Sphinx's Revelation. Or Shark Typhoon. We in that five color cluck cluck? Wow, how did you know that? Yeah, Charming Prince is not exciting at this point. If that is one of your three, I'm okay with it. Keep in mind, I totally understand we have fewer cards than they do, but every few, every every card less. <sighs> yep, that's a good one. Buy Oblivion Ring. Oh, what? Wow, that's actually surprising. Hmm. Hmm. Of course, I did it in the wrong order again. <laughs> but I didn't know. Three, four, five. Nivuski. Wow, that's a hit. <laughs> wow. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight potential mana. This guy just kills a planeswalker straight up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eater. <laughs> okay. Well, 
That was a hit. Wow, Niv Mizzet. You complete me. Oh yeah, Tatiova. That seems fine. You're also going down to like 10 cards and we have an Ashiok, so... That's pretty good. That's pretty good. The results of good... I mean, I'm still really apprehensive about our mana base, and I think it's going to really hurt us more than once. Kaya... Yep, that's cool. I guess I'll sack this creature. Well, thankfully they only have four powers, so they can't kill any of my Planeswalkers. Okie dokie. Um, create a beast. Oh wow, they just took five from Golos. That's pretty cool. I guess I do need a green here. Green and this for Xenagos. Like we have six cards, they have eight, so we kinda wanna be careful of of decking ourselves. Because everything we do draws cards. Um so right now we have two threats. We can actually activate one, two, three, activate, and then still cast Anguished. Four Planeswalkers, huh? That seems good. Yeah, can't really do anything about that. That's their last card in their hand. So it seems like we're both playing five color good stuff. They have Abrupt Decay, Teferi. Their deck seems very good. They also have Overgrown Tomb and Savai Trium, which is actually... Uh, better than what we have okay you got a hissy boy okay yeah got that guy too seems good I feel like they have to go for Ashiok here Soren Fascinating. You hear? You hear? So this one, two, three. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm like, well, it gets on tap with three planeswalkers. Ashiok's going to put you to four. You're going to draw to three, and then you're dead to Ashiok. I do not think you're getting through my board. So that's cool. Do we see any artifacts? Deck and stone. Deck and stone could be fine, actually. Hmm. I do think Dragon Lord Attack is good in this matchup. It goes long. Carnage Tyrant could be fine. I just feel like they kind of gum up the ground a little bit with all their tokens. Their Vraska tokens. Their tutus from Joel Real. 
I think Mimic's probably not great. Yeah, I think that's fine. We'll just trade Dragonlord for Mimic. I like Mimic because it's the only Simic card in the deck, so it does increase our chances of hitting with, uh, you know, the dude. Niv Mazoot. Oh, they went to five. Ooh, yikes. Oof, that's a good one. Joel Royale. Jace, okay. Damn Nazion. Damn Nazion, eh? It's a from the Italian, huh? It's not. Definitely gonna damnation here. I mean, this guy doesn't flip anymore either, which is nice. <sighs> yeah, this is gonna be a blood. Yep, so they have one card. Two cards in hand. We have five cards. Yeah, that's pretty good. Consecrated Sphinx. Night Veil Spectre, okay. I'm mean, gonna have to assume they're gonna play Consecrated Sphinx at some point. Shark Typhoon for three. Sure. I'm going to have Johnny Vengeant. Oof. Dislike. Yep. That's no bueno. Uh... Blue, black, red, green, white. Two hits. I like it. I mean, that's a solid mold drifter. Six, six for five that draws you two gold cards. You got it. It's probably game, right? Okay. <laughs> well, 2 0, guys. It's a hell of a start. Dragons are pretty good. I like a good dragon. All 
right. Guys, is this our trophy? I don't think so. But you know what? Maybe. Hmm. Any white source? Also need a black source. We're on the draw. You know what? They went to six. You went to five? You gotta live dangerously, guys. When a dragon is also a lord, oh many. Oh many. I mean, Lurus with these two is pretty good, but... Okay. Should have led with Forest, and the reason is because I knew we have Sun Petal Grove in our deck. So. Oh, so, so blessed. Hashtag blessed. Oh, beautiful. There's a blood, there's a Bloodstain Mire. It gets Blood Crypt, which is every color we need. Well, that's a good one. Don't even hesitate. Just get that Bloodstained Mire. And by Bloodstained Mire, I mean Blood Crypt. <laughs> um, Luris doesn't do anything here, so we're just going to Tide Hollow Sculler. Jade Light Ranger and Beanstalk Giant. I feel like Jade Stock Ranger is more manageable. But Beanstalk Giant, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's take Jade Light Ranger. If they just want Beanstalk Giant next turn, that's fine. That's really good. Wow. Okay, we're just going to keep hitting lands here, which is nice. Um, we're going to place a Healy here. Um, I feel like they're just going to stick slime next turn and kill one of our lands. If they kill Blood Crypt, which is probably what they're going for. Then I still want to be able to cast this. And then we still have like Lurus next turn. I'm going to bottom this. Oh, they could also just kill this actually with Acidic Slime, which would be significantly better for us. Oh. They're going to do neither. One, two, three, four. Yeah, all right, cool. Okay. Yeah, that's great. For, oh, mm, yeah, that's great for us. Wow, that's really good for us, actually. Let's top deck Felidar Guardian. Oblivion Ring, huh? One, two, three, four, five, six. We know they're drawing seven. Carry added. I think we're just gonna Golos here. Oh, we can Golos make a copy of Golos? That's pretty cool. Um, what do we want here? Creeping Tar Pit. Let's get Woodland Cemetery and choose which one to keep. Keep the good one. This is literally just 
Sahili searches for a land for negative two. Which is pretty good. Um, let's get Rootbound Crag. I don't want to get uh, creature lands while they are able to easily kill them. And if they want to spend their turn, they either have Beanstalk Giant, Sylvan Carry added, or uh, the other dude. Okay, so Forest. Sylvan? Got it. One, two, three, four, five, six. They have to they have to just try to kill the A land, right? Like Blood Crypt. Oh, they kill Island? It's pretty good. Oh, they kill Golas himself. Yes, guys, that's correct. That seems better. Although we do get Karn here. No block with the no four. Guys, I'm just trying to find Feldar Guardian. <laughs> okay. Okie dokie. Let's scry one. The game's over. I don't know why I scryed one. That seems like bad. Hashtag blessed. Oh, uh, yep. Make a token of this guy. Are they going to make me do it? See, this is BM. No? Okay, good. That's cool. Appreciate it. Thank you. That's very nice of you. Uh, this is a match where Atarka seems good. Progenitor Mimic also seems good. I mean, like, if we can progenerate, I mean, like, their acidic slime or something. That's pretty wild. And Calurus, I guess. I mean, there's another. We're missing red and white, but it worked out for us last time, so. <laughs> Not that that matters, but they went to six again. Jeez. Did they go to five? Two games in a row? That seems brutal. No, they went to six. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Give me a white source. It's a red source. Come on, planes. Daddy needs the planes. Just give him the plane. I'm on a plane. That does not get anything. Oh, I'm so mad. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm just going to sack it for a red source now. I don't want to actually... Uh, I want, I'm gonna. Min we have 18 lands. I want to. Sh I want to shrink the number of lands I can draw here. <sighs> Plus, it only gets two, so like I feel like it's vital to crack these as soon as you can, so that they don't uh, <laughs> lose their targets. And you're like, well, I guess I can't get anything with my bloodstained mire. You see. Oh, God, we're so good at this game. That's beautiful. White source. Wall of homies. Wall of homies is more like it. Then we can Johnny this next turn. Beautiful. Beautiful. Just beautiful. 
unless they aesthetic slam that white source. Which, come on, we know they're always going to do it. One, two, three, four. Tiova. Not as bad. Maybe that's worse. I don't know. One, two, three, four, five. They only have four lands, so this is less of a threat. We're probably just going to have Johnny the Tet. I'm going to do this instead. <laughs> oh, man. Lucky, 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 lucky. Yep, that guy's fine. Can we get anything with this? Do we have a second island? Fuck, I don't even know, dude. Oh, no. Oh, God. I'm really... I think we did put a second island in the deck. I'm gonna... I'm gonna I can guarantee we put a second island in the deck. One, two, three, four. John, uh, Janani? Ah, uh, Janani. We actually could have kept the land tap down and murderous cutted that guy. Cutted. I'm a murderous. I'm a cutted you. Uh, dude, this is wild. Five color buck buck is coming through for us. Um, I don't care about that guy right now. What up, Zero? Oh, a second, a second island. That's what not what Father likes. We're gonna keep this tap down forever. So they have two cards in hand. Good grief! Murderous cut, very good with the number of fetch lands we have. It's like four. We got. Three of them in our graveyard right now. I think we still have Verdant Catacombs or something. Who knows, man. Well, we don't get to do anything here. One, two, three, four, five. We do not have... The Primeval Titan Mana. Next turn we do get to go murder... Uh, Garrick Apex Predator, though. That's pretty alright. Plus, if they cast this guy, they have another blue source, and they get... Oh, they don't have another blue source. Oh, hot. Don't be a primeval titan. Oh, it's like an X spell. Genesis Hydra for five, six, so it's for two? X is four. Okay, so that's right. Okay, so you get a Jade Light or a Corsair. Hit me with your best shot. And I played a land this turn, so that's good. So they get a 4-4 four, in four one of these. It's not, it's not bad. It's not bad. I'm going to kill one. Maybe kill both. And then play Garrick. And then we're going to have... Yeah, that's probably correct. Especially because both of these guys have removal. I want to click OK to continue. Uh, get rid of all four of these. See what you reveal. Arbor Elf? That's going, that's going in the bin. And Clever Impersonator. That seems keepable. But if it's on top, they'll never be able to play it because I'm just keeping that Hinge on Harbor. Oh, you kept it. Well, butter my biscuits. Okay, well, I think it's more important to exile this. I think getting this guy back from the... Eh, maybe not. They could have, like, Eternal Witness. So, we're going to exile Blink, two, three. Where are you going, buddy? And... So they have one card in their hand, they're drawing Clever Impersonator, and they don't have a second blue source. 
Okay. Well. Clever impersonator named. Wow. I mean, if they draw a clever impersonator, they can copy Garrick minus three, or plus one Garrick to kill another Planeswalker, so I really don't think they're that far off. But we have not dropped a game yet, so that's pretty cool. Apparently this is all we needed. Who is that handsome man kicking booty and strutting his way through a bad streak? Oh, man. Well, what can you do? Sometimes you just got to keep fighting, you know? Five color buck buck, whatever that means, is the way to go. No one knows what it means, yet somehow, we all do. It's true. Guys, do me a favor if you're watching this on YouTube. Check out nordvpn.org slash If you're looking for a VPN, an internet security solution, it can unlock some region-locked region, region locked content for you. Uh, you also get 68% off a two-year subscription, along with one free month. It's a pretty great deal. They're a sponsor of the stream currently. And uh, it's a great way to support the channel if you're looking for a VPN. So, like Michael the Barber Beak. <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's, uh, it really, really sticks with you, you know? Or you guys can just subscribe. Do you ever subscribe on Twitch before? That's pretty sweet. If you guys have Twitch, if you guys have Amazon Prime, combine them. And you can get a free sub every month with your Twitch Prime. And it's a great way to support the channel here. And uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but I stream and make content for a living. So, like, if you're not supporting me, <laughs> I'll be on the streets. Just in time. Just in time. Oh, wow. It's not bad. I'll keep this on the draw. I'm a Spaceman 1. Okay. Oof. Let's let's do it. Let's do it. I want to untap with the chromatic lantern and go pow pow pow. Are you gonna let me do it? Oh, you're not gonna let me do it yet. Come on. There's so many. There's so many forests slash mountains that are Thank possible you. to draw here. We did not draw one. Mogul Nying, thanks so much for the Prime sub. Welcome back, my dude. Five buck color buck buck for some buck bucks. I appreciate you. Um, is this going to resolve? Probably not. It did? Okay. Well, that's fascinating. I, the man is working surprisingly okay. We made it a, a strong point to pick very few double colored cards. Okay, that's unfortunate. Mm. White, 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 white. Double black. I guess this is our only option, really. Hey, I'm a spaceman! Um... I can cast it, but I really can't. I just kind of need lands. Let's be real. Two, three, four, activate. Probably activate one of these these landy boys. Oh, no, they're just going to play Inferno Titan. Worm Coil. Come on. <sighs> yeah, that's really sad. Uh-huh. You can go. And we can't cast anything here, correct? White, 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 white. Okay. Well, this is, I mean, this is what was bound to happen, right? Like. <sighs> oh, 
Okay. Now it is time to hit a, a white source and get this train moving. <laughs> train keep a rolling all night long. You're having some buck buck luck with the land snake, yeah, but now it's now now we've we've gone too far. Not great Bob is right. Not great, Bob. Train keep a rolling all night long. Train keep a rolling. Oh, Teffery. That's that's probably beatable. We can probably beat that. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the next game. I I I really don't feel like we could beat that. Yeah. Diatark seems good. Progenitor mimic on their worm coil seems okay. Again, Lurus just doesn't I think gifted either worm might be worse. But maybe Lurus isn't great either. And being able to exile worm coil seems good, so let's bring that guy. I'm keeping Murderous Cut because we did see both Wandering Fumeral and Celestial Colonnade, so. Oh, uh, we could host on the Teferi, but, like, don't they? I mean, they still have a a thing. They still have the other dude. It's not like, I mean, they still have Worm Coil. So, you know. Plus, they're untapping with, like, five mana. So, yeah. I don't know, man. Train keep a rolling. Ooh. What could this be? Two mana in a Jeskai deck. Literal nothing. Okay, sounds good. Oh boy. Well, we'll play this. So we can get a blue from this, and we can get a, f a blue from this. Or we can get red blue. Let's get this. We'll use this one for blue. Planeswalker here would be cool. A castable Planeswalker. And a Johnny Vengeant would be super cool. Okay, well, I guess I should have specified a cheaper Planeswalker. Train keep on rolling. kept it evoke mole drifter <laughs> okay okay let's get a blue I got a discard? Wild. Oh, wow. The rich get richer. That's obviously the best land, right? It's all your colors, so. So what land do we get here? Red, right? Yeah. <sighs> Q 
Golos? Primeval Titan? Primeval Titan turns everything on, right? What do we think this is? Three cards beginning with Morph. No. What? Rattleclaw? That seems unimpressive. Oh, what up, Timmy? I still feel like this is definitely the correct play. Let's get Raging and Creeping. I mean, if they want to flip this to deal three to Karn or no to a Johnny, that's totally fine. I have removal for days. I think cutting off their mana production is a little more important here. It could be Rattleclaw. They could just be like, I mean, like they're blue red. Yeah, this is fine. It's 1 a.m. where I am, my dudes. It is 1 a.m., my dudes. Oh my god, guys, it is Wednesday, my dudes. Oh man, Affinity. You're fucking, you're the hero we need, dude. So it could be, it's not probably, it's, yeah, it's probably the Stratus Dancer, Rattleclaw, or Hidden Dragon Slayer, but if it was Hidden Dragon Slayer, they definitely would have kept this face down, so I'm going to say Stratus Dancer or Rattleclaw Mystic here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just drop the kid off at kindergarten. I'm gonna start a work. Anytime now. One, two, three, activate. One, two, three. Yeah, we're just gonna attack here. More like attack activate, am I right? We got one white source. Let's get a sun petal grove. And I guess a root bound crag. Sure. These are a few of my favorite lands. So eight mana. We can do literally like one thing. We can Golos get another land. We can keep a land tapped, play Karn, keep it like exile another land. But then if this is Stratus Dancer, they get to kill Karn. We could shoot this, play Karn, exile a land, but if they have another land again, they can activate Fumarole and kill Karn. I guess we could tap down Fumarole. Play Karn plus Karn. We just keep this tapped. I mean, if I exile anything, I'm probably exiling Colonnade and keeping down the Trion because then they're going to have three lands and Fumarol doesn't do anything. This flipping is what I'm worried about because then they have a three three power flyer that kills Karn. And we can also just play Garrick. Yeah, so well, actually, I, I think, yeah, so it was Stratus Dancer. One, two, three, four, six, seven. Now they can't attack with Colonnade. Even if they hit a land, so. They do get to flip Search for Azkanta.
Dream Amoeba. Oh, I guess they. I guess. Oh, they get to. They get to flip this and hit a land. That's that's lucky. It's not what they're doing though. Teferi. Gideon. Gideon killed Primeval Titan. Okay. I mean that that damage is done. Ooh, Jace the Mind Sculptor? Jeez. So, just play Garrick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we just win the game. <laughs> oh, man. Yep, that's pretty good. Yep. Primeval Titan is a hell of a card. Actually, Carnage Tyrant seems decent here. I'm just going to submit 42. I mean, that's like... This is only creatures, right? Yeah, we can get rid of deck. Whatever. Well, I found the Carnage Tyrant. I'll keep this on the draw. We have 18 lands. Sure. This does get a blue now. So Sahili is up, so is Oblivion Ring. <sighs> Alright, this one's for all the marbles. The Marbales. I mean, we could also just draw land, fill out our Guardian as well, so... <laughs> I don't think we need it. It's greedy, but we have Oblivion right. Ah, it's so greedy. Tuffery. Solace Me Lacrim is actually fine. Okay, that's pretty good. Crack this. Just gotta get Blood Crypt, right? Fill out our Guardian? Bottom Soren. All right. I think we're doing okay, but how long that will last, I do not know. Buddy, I'm trying to draw the cat. I'm scrying as hard as I can. Okay, that's a card I don't care about. I imagine they have Disallow in hand. I no longer imagine that. Cool. Man, 
green source into any color would be pretty nice here. Let's get rid of treasure map. You don't need this. I don't need you to be scrying. Man, what a beating. Oh boy. Living the dream. Oh my god, you know what else would be cool? Progenitor Mimic to Carnage Tyrant. Whew. Wow. Well, they've already played Storm's Wrath. This guy has, oh god, Progenitor Mimic on Carnage Tyrant. Oh god, are we doing it? Guys, are we going to trophy? They didn't have any plays last turn. Three, four, five. Okay, Mall Drifter's fine. Sounds good. Sounds good. Uh huh. That's a Stratus Dancer. That's a Karn. Can we mimic their drifter? Sure. Are we going to? Nah. You like that I didn't keep black up even though I have murderous cut? <sighs> Hope that doesn't cost me the game. One, two, three, four, five, six. Elspeth. <laughs> Fucking amazing card we have not seen once in how many matches? That's insane. And you have a counter spell. Yep, that's how we lose. Literally, we haven't seen Elspeth once. Now all of a sudden they have Elspeth when we have Carnage Tyrant Progenitor. The literal like only answer they could possibly have Did they flip this to try to counter Karn because that's pretty funny well okay jeez huh they don't have any creature lands so if we get rid of this Karn goes to one but then we don't have an answer for Elspeth except for this, but that's not going to kill Elspeth. We just got to get rid of Elspeth. Like, sucks. If we kept this up, we could have actually killed this last turn. Well, they would have actually countered it. Yeah, they would have had the two up to counter it, so. Yeah, that's frustrating. I mean, I guess it's not over, but they do have five cards to our two cards, so. Could we have activated Raging Green with these guys both tapped? One, two, three, four. That might have been, that would have been significantly better, yes. Yeah, see, I mean, like, that's, I feel like I make significantly worse plays when I'm, after right after they get a very very good playoff and i'm just like okay well now i'm just tilted oh interesting All right, what did we exile? Search planes funeral, sure.
three, four, five, ten. Conclave Tribunal. You're gonna target my treasure map? Target Ashiok. Okay. And they have four cards. If one of them is a counter spell, like we're just dead in two turns. So one, two, three, four. Okay, well, that's... They're at 10, and we do have a Raging Ravine. All right, let's see what you can bring to us. One, two, three, four, red. It's your boy. You're countering this, but you didn't counter the removal spell that took away your two-turn clock? Fucking weird, dude. Like, I'd be at four right now. Like, you'd literally have... Yep, and I still have four cards in hand. Two are zero. So now we go to five. I mean, I have, like, Murder's Cut was the last card in my hand, right? So you're like, I'll keep my counter spell in case he draws a random card that's better than the card that takes me off a two-turn clock. So, sure. Yeah, all right. <laughs> the rich get richer. Well, anyways, too good to be true. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons if you want to support the channel. Yeah, that's great. Like, even Damnation doesn't get us out of this. Yep, Xenoghost doesn't do anything. And top deck is Soren. Six, seven, eight, so we have to go to four. I've gained six, I take one, two, four, six, seven, eight, ten. And then damnation is actually a card. So they're just gonna bounce for it anyway, right? So six. We go to eleven, we take one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, we go to one. Sure. <laughs> yep. I mean, if we can draw like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, damnation plus. No idea. <sighs> yep. I just have six. So I don't know why you're still asking me, but sure. Let's see what happens. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate all y'all. We go to one here. I assume they bounce Treasure Cove. That actually gives us. One fewer outs. Yep, that seems great. I'm sure there's gonna lightning helix or some bullshit. Cool. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.